We ended our last video talking about the standard input and output and said we can indeed redirect these to other files. In this video, we'll learn about how to do just that. At the end of this video, you will be able to name all three Unix file descriptors, utilize the redirect operators, and explain the difference between cat and more commands. On Unix and Unix-like operating systems, each process started from the command line has three file descriptors associated with it. Standard input is normally connected to the keyboard. Standard output and standard error are normally connected to the terminal screen from which the application was launched. However, these file descriptors can be redirected to and connected to files, I/O uh, of other processes, and etc. To redirect standard input to come from a text file instead of the user's keyboard, we use the less than operator. So as you see here, it's command less than operator accepts from some file. To redirect standard out, we use either the greater than operator or we can use the file descriptor explicitly to use one greater than as operator. File descriptor, or FD1, is optional as the greater than defaults to standard out. Here we see command redirecting to a file 1 and a file 2. However, to redirect standard error, we need to use FD2 with the greater than operator, which is written as to greater than. Here we see both standard out and standard error redirected using command to greater than a file 4 and greater than a file 5. So that means we direct standard error to a file 4 and standard out to a file 5. Lastly, we see all three file descriptors redirected to different files. In this case, command is redirected to, or we should say outputs of the command, is redirected to one file using the green operator with the green file name. The error stream coming from the command is redirected to another file using two greater than and another file together under the blue color. And the command accepts data instead of the standard input from yet another file, which is uh, colored in that Bordeaux color together with its operator. An interesting thing about these redirections is that they don't need to be in a particular order as long as you keep the redirection operator together with the file name. So that means all those colors with their operators should be together. In fact, even the command name can come last. Please also note that the input redirection can be useful if you have written a program which expects input from the terminal and you want to provide it from a file. Doubling the greater than operator in standard out and in standard error redirections will append to the file instead of rewriting to the file. So in this case, we see both command redirecting to a file one and instead of rewriting on the file, it appends to a file one, and command redirecting the error using two greater than greater than to a file three. Now we have a third command here. Uh, this one shows a way to redirect both standard out and error into the same file. The two greater than at one means send fd2 output to the same place as the fd1 output, namely the file called a file. So let's review some of these concepts on our command line. 